Russ producers told ABC News Mr. Looper's allegations around budget and safety are patently false, which is not surprising considering his job was to be a camera operator and he had absolutely nothing to do with or knowledge of safety protocols or budgets. Mm. Safety is always the number one priority on our films. Okay, hang on. Uh, shouldn't everyone have some understanding or knowledge of safety protocols? I mean, maybe not necessarily budgets, but safety protocols. Shouldn't, shouldn't everyone, I don't know. Is that, is, am I out of line there, Andy? Wait, one more time. What was the question? So when, when you're on a film set, shouldn't everyone have some, uh, some understanding or knowledge of safety protocols? Yeah. They, they, when they, they typically live, have, don't they literally have a safety briefing every day for the entire yeah, crew? Yeah, exactly. So to say yeah. that this guy is a camera operator and he has therefore has no knowledge of safety protocols to me sounds like BS. I mean, it's, it's, you know, sets are very busy, right? Sets are, sets are incredibly busy. There's, there's, you know, equipment coming and going. There's heavy equipment, you know, that the people are, are, are messing with on a regular basis. I mean, just lighting alone can be a real safety issue. Right. Um, I, I, I just, okay. <laughs> I find this hard to believe. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I agree. Oh my gosh, mom already sent it to me. She sent me the Bob Dole photo. I'm gonna have to post it in a bit. Um, okay, but sorry. I do also a... like the fact that they bring in the they themselves bring in budget into the, and then talk about safety. So they talk budget and safety, safety or budgets, and then safety. It's just something about that juxtaposition that's like, yeah, maybe safety is not the only thing on your mind. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh. Well, anyhow, I just, I think that this is a, it's also a very sort of hollow response, um, I think, to this sort of a thing that sounds like a very legitimate concern that that anyone would have. Um, I mean, it, it also doesn't, it doesn't address, I mean, uh, okay, of course, this could be, this could be just one portion of a statement, right? Like we're seeing one paragraph, there could be more to this, but this doesn't say anything about any sort of alleged, um, you know, yeah. uh, discharges of any guns that were that were improper or accidental you know, like it doesn't say it doesn't address any of that it just says like well this guy this guy just was a he was just a camera operator so he doesn't know what he's talking about so which to me just it it doesn't it doesn't seem like it quite rebuts the seriousness of what he was saying like his responsibility might be might not be you know in place of these safety protocols but that doesn't mean he's like unaware of it you know exactly yeah yeah. All right. When people say cutting costs, I don't say this with any judgment or any cynicism. Spielberg wants to save money. Tom Cruise wants to save money. Everybody who makes movies has a responsibility not to be reckless and careless with the money that you're given. We know that those are men who make movies that cost $205 million. And I'm making movies that cost $5 million. Or the question, though, is were costs being cut at the expense of safety and security? In, in, my, in my opinion, no, because I did not, now, I did not observe any safety or security issues at all in the time I was there. I mean, mm. also, that question, that, that question and answer. So given the fact that, that George earlier asked him, so, do, so are you, as a producer, are you responsible for any line items or blah, blah, blah? And he's like, no, 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 I'm not responsible for any of that. If, he, if that were consistent, I would expect him to answer here, well, I, I didn't have anything to do with the budget. I don't know what the budget was. So I, I wouldn't know if the budget was being sacrificed for safety. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to be, it's funny because like, I've been listening and I think at a point we're starting to be hyper, like hypercritical of everything. And so? to the, yeah, it's just like, all right, for like, I've, I've been on camera sets as security before and, you know, and, and I'll say this, not everyone knows the procedures for guns. Like if you're the camera guy, you're not really doing, you, you don't know the, the exact procedures for handling the firearm, right? Sure. Not everybody, they don't send everybody down right. and say, this is the, all the procedures for fire, right? The people who are usually handling the guns. So him, so them saying, well, he, they, the camera guy really doesn't know. That's a pretty accurate description. But I also think. On the flip end, this was a damning admission by um, a mistake by um, by um, by Baldwin because if we run the tape back, this interview back five minutes, remember he did hear of things on the set. That's the reason why he had the other guy come in. Remember the other guy made the the letter, 
Oh, you're yeah. telling him about issues on the set. And now he's saying, I absolutely didn't know anything was going on in the set. So that, so, you know, so this is now becoming a problem. Like, hold on. You just said you heard, you, you spoke to the guy about, about safety issues. And now you're saying you have absolutely had no idea that there were safety issues while you were there. So, which is true. So this is why I, I think this is the problem now. Did you know or didn't you know? Because you're saying two separate things. Yeah, right, right. And so now, now we're getting into some inconsistencies. That's a really good point. 